Hello again. Um, so, working our way alphabetically through my um, blended whiskey selection that I've been donated. And this is another donation from Mr. X. Thank you very much, Mr. X. Now, I wonder how old this particular one is. This is Crawford's Five Star, but if I put this close to the camera, you can probably see this is a pretty old looking label. Um, it's 70 proof rather than 40% ABV. Um, so I, I really have no idea how, how old this miniature is. This, this could be actually worth something. Um, although having said that, I've looked on auctions and 70 CL bottles seem to be going for 25, 150 quid went for another, that sort of thing. So I don't think it's uber rare, but you know, this, this is not a cheap miniature. So thank you, Mr. X. Thank you very much for that. Um, and it's very intriguing. I haven't actually been able to find out much information about it, unfortunately, which is strange because I, I was under the impression that Crawford's as a brand was quite brick, quite brick, quite big, because um, I can remember selling the three star in uh, in the whiskey shop, which and, and a few people were sort of saying, oh, I can remember when this was really big. I think it was quite popular in about the 70s. Um, so Crawford is uh, a whiskey merchant, it's called ANA Crawford, and there is actually a signature on the, um, on the bottom. Yeah, I'm not gonna try and show you because I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it's ANA Crawford Limited, and they were a merchant in Leith. Uh, Leith is here in Scotland, and um, it's another one of these merchants in Scotland that began blending whiskey for their customers. Um, and now this merchant was established in 1860, and Crawford's three star, um, was launched just before the turn of uh, the 1900s. So we're looking at about 1890. Um, and then the deluxe five star, so the five star was a better version. And I think 12 year old, because I've seen it in a couple of places as Crawford's five star 12 year old, um, was launched in the 1920s. Now the three star is still available and it looks like this. You are looking at about 15 quid, Master of Malt selling it for, um, and it is still available. Um, the five star, no more, no, no longer available. So I don't even know who owns it and who makes it. I could find out very, very little information about this, unfortunately. So if anybody that's watching does know any more about Crawford's as, as a company, who makes it now, what the constituent parts of it are, that would be fantastic. Please do let me know in the comments. And um, if you're watching and you don't, you, know, you don't know anything about Crawford's, hopefully somebody by now will have added some comments to put some more information. So let's crack this open. It looks, I think it's just the shape of the bottle, but it looks like there's more than five CL in there. I can't even open the damn thing. This could be, Christ. Teeth time. Ah, oh, bloody hell, right. Well, it's pretty well sealed, let's say that. And the fill level is very, very good indeed. So I would be, considering how hard that was to open, I would be fairly confident that not a lot of air has escaped out of that. So that's about it in terms of the information for Crawford's Five Star, because that was all I could find. Very, very little indeed, I'm afraid. Um, but it was a case of, the three star was the standard version and the five star who were a relatively all right um, pop group in the 80s as well. Um, if you remember five star, that really ages me because I had a, well, their album on vinyl, sadly. Um, the five star was the premium version. So, you know, three star was a bit cheaper, not quite as good. Five star, now we're talking. Um, and I do believe this is 12 year old and above in terms of the malt whiskies that are in it. Where those malt whiskies are from? No idea. What the ratio of malt to grain is? No idea. Colouring? No idea. Wow. But I'm willing to bet there's some Isla in that. It's not hugely powerful. It's not obviously peaty, but there is definitely a smoke. And this is an earthy peatiness as well very earthy, very much sort of um, being stood on Isla when they're cutting the peat. So it's a combination of smoky, slightly medicinal, but also earth, rich, wet earth. That is a cracking nose. That is absolutely fantastic on the nose. It's so, 
it's so earth earth is the predominant feel earth and smoke earth wind and fire <laughs> you know it really is that is that is a fantastic nose for a blended whiskey now there's not a there's not a um a sharpness of grain that i tend to find in blended whiskies i know we're early on in the range of blends but you know i'm ex i'm half expecting that to be a consistent theme all the way through there's none of the edginess this is this is fire and earth and there's like leather in there as well it's you know if you were nosing this you'd say this was it's almost kind of a slightly highland parky in the highland park has a smokiness but it's different to isla maybe there's a lot of highland park in this maybe that's it but it smells like an aged island park as well like an 18 year old something like that that is it i hope this is good on the palate because on the nose that is absolutely superb Mm. This feels more Isla now on the palate. This is slightly more medicinal, but it's bonfire smoke as well. Definite Isla influence on there. It's not hugely powerful. It's actually quite subtle. It's that bonfire on a beach, but a little bit further down the beach, not you stood right next to it. And as a fan of Isla whiskies, that is a corker. There's a really nice maltiness to it as well that supports the smokiness brilliantly. Mate, I tell you, five stars is the review score if I gave things stars. Out of five, obviously not 10. That is an absolutely brilliant whiskey, generally. Not just a brilliant blended whiskey. That is a brilliant whiskey, full stop. There's a lovely combination of malty, fudgy, toffee, caramel, and then gentle smoke and very, very soft pepper. And there's a lovely fruitiness to it as well, sort of raisiny. Oh, it's brilliant. It's absolutely fantastic. That is an absolute corker. That has, uh, that's just, and I think, I think I'm enjoying it even more because I wasn't expecting much from it. With it being either the age of the bottle or the fact it's a blended whiskey and the, the three star is 15 quid and still available. That is incredible. That is really, really good. If that's what they all tasted like at five star, brilliant stuff, superb. Um, I'm intrigued to try the three star now to see whether there's any of the character that's in that, maybe scaled down, maybe not quite as full on, but if the three star has any elements that then go into that, at 15 quid, that could be an absolute ruddy bargain. That is superb. I have a bit left. Mr. X, if you would like that back, if you've not had, if you don't have a spare one of these and you want me to send you that back, I'd be more than happy to because um, if you've not had this, then you deserve to try it because it's absolutely wonderful stuff. Um, I'm going to put some PTFE tape, this water sealant tape on. And um, if you want me to send it back, I will do because that, that's brilliant. That's absolutely fantastic. Such a shame it's not available anymore. Um, and if you can find a bottle of that, so that type of label is what you want if you can find it. If you can find that on auction for about 25 quid, snap it up because it is super. It is absolutely brilliant. Lovely stuff. Right, I will try not to drink the rest of that, Mr. X, and send it back to you if you wish because um, thank you very, very much for that. Superb stuff. Right, that's me done. Um, off to enjoy the weekend. I hope you do too, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>